Welcome to Taiwan Apocalypse. I'm Hong Peixiang. Hu Guanbao. He can be called the leader in the history of Taiwan's public security. Most cunning criminal. He is obviously talented. Why is it not used on the right track? Finally on this road of no return? He committed a crime that shocked the society. Xin Kong Shaodong kidnapping case. At one time, the police were playing tricks. December 18, 1990. Another week. It's Christmas. After 10 o'clock in the evening. Xin Kong Group Xiaodong. Wu Dongliang returns to Shirlin. Community building on Loyalty Road. Just walked in. Suddenly some gangsters broke in. Take him away. Wu Dongliang lives in. Gated community. Can't get in without a key. Gangsters are ready. Already locked him. Where they start. To follow the same car. The status of all entry and exit. Are followed. Almost all selected. And it was planned for him. And then track for a while. Make up your mind and then start to act. It's just that Wu Dongliang didn't have any grudges with anyone. Who kidnapped him? Not long. A phone call came into Wu's house. Hello. Mrs. Ching? Yes. Your husband is here. You don't need to be nervous. I'll tell you as soon as I open my mouth. My ransom is 100 million yuan. The number 100 million, to be honest at the time, may be an astronomical figure. Because even the bank can't tell. 100 million at the same time. He has to stack. Or what kind of packing bags? How heavy? It's a sky-high ransom. Gangsters know. How many hostages in hand quotes? Wu Dongliang, of course these three words. He represents more than himself. Represents still one. The so-called Shin Kong Wu family. For such a famous family. Especially the members inside were tied up. Don't talk about ordinary people. Totally freaked out. Because even such a big person will be tied. And of course, it means that there is a problem with law and order. About police officers. Not even policing, including intelligence units. Including high-level government. May be alarmed. Shin Kong Group's corporate body, from financial department source to medical care, etc. Almost covers the food, clothing, housing and transportation of Taiwanese. Plus Wu Dongliang's wife is the well-known artist Ping Shuefen. Every move of the Wu family. Our media focus. Xiaodong Wu Dongliang was kidnapped. Unknown. It shocked Taiwanese society. Police tense. Unexpectedly, the first step in the investigation encountered difficulties. Because the first time the police said to go to his home to deploy, what to monitor? Get all the police out of the house. She said no you all go out. Not in our house. Later, the police could only deploy on the periphery. Wu's family called the police to save people. But Wu Dongliang's artist wife, Ping Shuefen stands alone. Refused police assistance. Ping Shuefen is also helpless. Also a bit forced. Because the gangster is in the dark. Gangster at that time, basically already. Asking Ping Shuefen to contact her alone. So it's actually a one-way connection. Including not calling the police, this is a general. So-called kidnapping. Gangsters will ask, but must not include. Ping Shuefen. Do not mention it to anyone in the family. Not allowed. Too many people know about it. So Hu Guanbao and Peng Shuefen have a promise. Which means you just get out of the way of the cops. Pay the money. I promise I will take your husband. Wu Dongliang. Get him home safely. So at that time Peng Shuefen. Become her helpless. There is no object to discuss. Plus she really is. In a calm situation. She still decided to pay the money first. Hello. Are you ready for 20 million? Ready. Take the money and go out now. Ping Shuefen, who is eager to save her husband? What's on my mind at this moment? As long as my husband can come back safely. She is willing to do anything. The criminals caught Ping Shuefen's state of mind. He wants Ping Shuefen. Pay by car loan. And a ransom of 100 million yuan. Score pays twice. First payment of 5 million yuan. The gangster suddenly asked for 5 million in payment. We thought the gangster. Quite cunning. Quite able to grasp the whole situation. The most difficult thing in a kidnapping case is a gangster. How to get the ransom successfully. Withdraw in two installments. Doesn't it increase the risk of getting caught? What are the gangsters planning? But I can't think so much. It's important to save lives. Ping Shuefen immediately raised 5 million. To pay the ransom. So later when Ping Shuefen. Received a call from the gangster saying. When she goes out to pay. As soon as she drives. When I got out of their garage. I found. There is a police surveillance car ahead. Wait there. Ping Shuefen pretended to say. Get the car out. 
In fact, when driving past, when she turned directly, just back up and hit those cop cars. Run over the police car. Don't let the police car follow the prison. So she is alone. Just drove out. Follow the gangster's phone instructions along the way. Go to the designated place. The car drove all the way onto the highway, to the highway south. My impression is 86.5. Within that distance. There are elevated. After the elevated. Just by hanging the basket. Take 5 million. And when that basket was hung down. Pinch UF and took 5 million for the first time. Provide a mobile phone. Just say in here. Use this for threatening calls. When he was hanging up in a basket. The floor difference is probably close to. There are four or five floors. Plus there are slope blocks on both sides. There's no way to use your strength to climb up. Due to payment process. Is very fast. Just a few minutes. Colleagues at the bottom. It's too late to deploy. There is no way to see the gangster. What does it look like? So pay quickly. In a few minutes. The stolen money was taken away. The police never thought. The gangsters actually used this method. Withdrawing 5 million yuan. 5 million baskets go up, right? Gangsters have made. Ping Shuefen thinks that gaining trust. My first payment was so smooth. The first cop showdown. The police suffered. But for gangsters, withdrawal from this time, they confirmed. Ping Shuefen wants to save Wu Donglian. Willingness to cooperate 100%. Ping Shuefen speaks. Because I was temporarily. No way to raise. 100 million is such a big number. So even 5 million is fine. That was just a test. U Guanbao was just a test. Did Ping Shuefen call the police? Is the police unit following? The gangster set up a good game with a first payment of 5 million. Easy to get. Remaining balance. How could they let go? So he really believed in Ping Shuefen. So then the call came again. Didn't you just say 100 million? The remaining 95 million. This time it's time to pay. For the family. This is to rescue Wu Donglian. The most critical payment. But for the police. First payment. The gangsters have already escaped. Can't do it again. First time being tricked. It can also be said that the police underestimated the enemy. But if you second. Being played around again. The police really have no face. Especially. The last time. The entire process of delivering the ransom. Ping Shuefen for the safety of her husband. Directly call the. Commissioner of Police Chong Hang Tai. Ask the police not to follow the car. As a result. The police apparently agreed. In private. Send the car out. Although it is a private car. Following distance. Also deliberately enlarged. The police thought they were ignorant. But did not expect. These little tricks. Hu Guanbao. Mastered clearly. Hu Guanbao. How on earth did he do it? Go out with your phone. I will teach you how. I want to talk to Ching. You're all police. Come out and talk. They are familiar with our listeners. This vote of people is really brains. Very good. Really put all the police. Unexpected things. They all want to be ahead. So created the police unit. Difficulty tracking. Including the difficulty of solving the whole case later. Senior reporter Kai Meng Fong. Think back to more than 20 years ago. The kidnapping case of Wu Dongliang shocked the society. Delicate arrangements for gangsters. Withdrawal method. Still impressed. Remember. I want to see your husband come back alive. Must get rid of the police. If not. Next time. Don't even think about seeing your husband again. Hello. In every crime. Almost everything can be decided before moving. Make up your mind. This is Kai Mengfeng's description of these gangsters. He's at confrontation between cops and gangsters. Not only when the police withdraw the money for the first time. Suffering. Even the second withdrawal. The police are still being played around. Tiger call. Swallow Duff's Arrowbird Crow. Vulture Phoenix. Grandpa is leaving. That day. Real police unit was taken out and circled. About six hours. Keep up with her. Don't lose it. Come back when everyone is unloading equipment. All yelling. We can hear clearly. Strangeness. Where are the people and where are the cars? How to know? What happened? Let the investigating police. Everyone is so angry. Bring the time back to the second agreed payment. At that time, the gangster in Hengshu Fen, about in Xinjiang's Aikiking Mountain area, to pay 95 million. And ask for money. Must be installed and they're designated. In three bags. But the ransom amount is so large. It's really not easy to pretend. Later they found out that, inside that bag, can only hold 30 million. 90 million in three bags. What to do with the remaining 5 million? Will it be because of the 5 million? Wu Dongliang died like this. So she is pretending to cry. Ping Shuefen at that time. Ectopic pregnancy. Not long after surgery. 
So with the wound, oozing blood. Go there to save my husband. Put that money over there. Later had to. Just put that five million aside. Next to the bag. Dragging the body that hasn't recovered yet. Enduring the pain. Payment this time. Husband's life is at stake. Ping Shuefen is desperate. I have to hand over the money too. So the second time, when Ping Shuefen went out again, she found. The police are still following the prisoner outside their home. This time she just called. The police commissioner at that time. Zhuang Hai. Just talk to him. You put the police. All vehicles under surveillance. Remove all. Ping Shuefen defies all opinions. She said I have to pay by myself. You don't follow. I just want my husband's safety. I will pay. You can monitor from afar. But please don't cause gangsters. Restlessness and anger. Please let me hand over the money. I can only do this today. If I can put the money. Hand it over smoothly. My husband can come back safely. I don't expect to say. Must catch the gangster. Of course the police said it was impossible not to follow. Just say another way. To follow Ping Shuefen's vehicle. Almost all of them drive private cars. Itself. Just followed Ping Shuefen's car. The separation distance is also quite large. In order not to let Ping Shuefen find out, the police also deliberately widened the distance with the car. I thought it was a seamless follow-up. But the gangsters are already at the commanding heights, watching what the police do. Every movement is mastered. Hu Guanbao. Already in a small rough pit. Commanding heights above. Use the telescope, looking at the terrain of the S road across the mountain. Which car is a police reconnaissance car? Which car belongs to the locals? He knows almost everything. Plus the gangster counts. The radio used by the police at the time. Poor communication in mountainous areas with a lot of interference. So including the police, it is also the follower of becoming a headless chicken. They only know that they want to follow Peng Shuefen's car. But in the whole mountain, communication is interrupted again. Lost the entire so-called number two. Number two is the commander of the highest unit. I found out later, who Guanba was really killed that day. Played for six hours. They've been going around in the mountains. From the mountains to the city. Day to night. Round to exhaustion of all. The gangster still hasn't shown up. Until 11 o'clock at night. After the police withdraw, Ping Shuefen received another call. To pay at night. Into this mountain. Tell her to turn on the lights. The light signal is completely militarized. Just when the police were caught off guard, Ping Shuefen put money in the mountains. Inside the white frame designated by the kidnapper. Let the kidnappers successfully take away 95 million yuan. Luckily these gangsters got the money. After successfully obtaining these ransoms, really let Wu Donglian out. Wu Donglian, I remember being released. It's in the wee hours of the morning. They put people. Just take it to the Round Hill Bowling Alley. Put it down in the parking lot next to it. Took the ransom. The criminals released Wu Donglian as agreed. Peng Shuefen. I lost my mobile phone for one line communication. The place on Zhongshan North Road. The parking lot left him there. He called and told his family that he was safe. After the gangsters have released him, the police were the only ones at that time. Just to save Wu Dongliang home. Wu Dongliang released safely. Let everyone breathe a sigh of relief. But for the police, next time we have to hurry up and arrest people. It's just that there are no clues at this stage. The police decided to start with Wu Dongliang. He's the only one with a gangster after all. Close contact. But at that time from Wu Dongliang's side, the clues obtained are minimal. Wu Dongliang from beginning to end. He is in a coma. When he was tied to the car. Immediately blindfolded. When released, others are still in a coma. From Wu Dongliang, the police can't find any useful clues. Now how to get this group? The gangster who disgraced the police. Find out. Fortunately, the hostage was released safely. But let the kidnappers get the ransom. And get out. This puts a lot of pressure on the police. Fortunately, the police picked up a quite critical fingerprint. Where did you get it? It turned out that Ping Shuefen, to get in touch with the gangster. She handed him a mobile phone. Later, when the criminals released Wu Donglian, take the same phone to Wu Donglian. Let him call. Inform yourself that you have been released safely. Result police. From the battery of this phone, a key fingerprint was taken. Finally, there is light in solving the case. Wu Dongliang's case happened. After returning safely, I took Ping Shuefen to the United States. Ping Shuefen calmly deals with gangsters. Let husband Wu Dongliang can safely escape life and death. Ping Shuefen at that time, once a smash hit, the Jade Girl Red Star. Into the family for Wu Dongliang. But her artistry. At first it was not accepted by the Wu family. Mom and dad don't agree. Become as if you don't want a country and want a beauty. 
Ping Xuefen turned into her mother-in-law Wu Guilan. Most trusted person, this time there was no danger. It also made the Wu family act more low-key. I advise him to be less exposed. Why? It's better to be mysterious. Just for the police. After Wu Dongliang returned safely. Yet another challenge. But the family pressure. I hope the police can solve the case quickly. How did the police solve the case? He doesn't even know who the gangster is. No object. How to solve the case? Fortunately, at that time Ping Shuefen. Don't you have a mobile phone? The contact phone of the person who paid the ransom. She put the phone. Turn everything over to the police. The police took that phone very seriously. What happened to that phone almost? All disassembled. Just to look inside. What the hell is there? At the bottom of the battery. A complete fingerprint was taken. Because of a fingerprint. Started to check. The so-called public security concerns population. So start here to find. Zhang Jiahu, one of the accomplices. Because Zhang Jiahu originally belonged to. Xinchu Guangdong Kai Luguang New Village Area. Children Independent Village. But then almost. Not fixed for a long time. Activities around Xinchu. This Zhang Jiahu used to be a national bowling player. Go abroad to compete. But because of going astray, he has a lot of criminal records, just when the police suspected. While Zhang Jiahu may be involved in the case, police issued a million dollar reward. The offline report came in under the reward. It happened to be Christmas Eve that year. As a female secret witness. A phone call to the police task force. Tell him that it's strange how many people. Come to KTV to find miss. Find a lot. And spend a lot of money. The money is piled upon piles to reward tips. He will take it out one day. Stacked. Zhang Dong you posted. A whole stack of thousand yuan bills at that time. Everyone saw this. Eyes are bright. Don't say a whole stack. It's all thousand yuan bills. And the thousand yuan bills are all new. Very strange. And bundled. At that time, the lady in the lounge especially watched. Four or five folded on the suit. This person must not know. What a windfall. Should be ill-gotten gains. The Zhang Dong that the hostess talked about. It's Zhang Jiahu. His sudden extravagance. Impressed the hostess. She felt that the money came from unknown sources. And why? These are new notes. And there are many serial numbers. They feel weird. These people. Did you commit some serious crime? Otherwise why? Suddenly so rich. Police found. Zhang Jiahu usually. They all hang out with friends from the Xinchu military village. These people have a lot of criminal records. The police found out that his boss was Hu Guanbao. But what is the origin of Hu Guanbao? Hu Guanbao is very smart. You know when he used to be in the government school, also because of excellent grades. Was sent to the United States for training. He is because. Met Shi Muyao and Zhang Jiahu. These people. Because I like to go to the hotel. So after they go to the hotel to splurge. He thinks you are a soldier. Restricted by action every time. Not that big, freedom. So he's in the army, because it is also illegal. After being dropped out of school, he was admitted later. Department of Mass Communication. Although the night, but he passed the exam. Indicates that this person has a very good mind. He is the boss. Because he's smart enough to plan. Read military school. So there will be plan A, plan B. Hu Guanbao with a military background. Do things thoughtfully. Comparing Hu Guanbao's background. How the kidnappers work. Almost coincide. Should be inseparable from them. They listened to the phone and knew that. It turns out that Zhang Jiahu and Qin Muyao go sing karaoke. Hu Guanbao. Inside the Xingjing Villa in Xindian. At rest. They split into two groups and went to arrest. Here at KTV. Captured Qi Muyao and Zhang Jiahu. 11.40 p.m. last night. In section 2. Zhong Wuro, Xinchu City. Tang Bohu Hotel in the basement of number 94. Already drunk contestants were arrested. Zhang Jiahu. And the suspect named Rin. Zhang Jiahu was arrested. Hu Guanbao. Because of this Hu Guanbao had military training. It's not that easy to catch him. At that time. Ho Yui, deputy head of the Taipei Criminal University. Ordered to lead the team to. They know that Hu Guanbao is cautious. Any trouble. Could put police officers in danger. He went up. We hide behind the door. Side door. He first knocked on the door. Too nervous. Just talk about borrowing the phone next door to me. We were standing next to. We were also in a cold sweat. How could he open the door by saying that? But I didn't expect God to help us very much. The door opened. The door opened with a girl's voice. Respond to who? I borrow the phone next door. He opened the door. Open the door. We don't care and rushed up. The policewoman really let Hu Guanbao. Reduced vigilance. 
Ho Yi rushed into the house with a large number of police officers. A policeman, pointing a gun at Hu Guanbao. But I didn't expect Hu Guanbao's reaction to be faster. He, the policeman, took a pistol. Compared to this old man who. Brother who has already run to the door. I can't hold back. I didn't expect our colleagues. When the gun was on him, he snatched it away. Just ask for a moment, the gun was snatched by Nguambo. If this shot is actually fired, death or injury. The process of our colleagues being directly robbed of guns. He hurried to hug him, Nguambo. Hold him for fear of the gun being robbed. Afraid of others running away, hug him. Hug him. The stature of our colleagues. Also shorter than Brother Hu. If you hug him, you will drag him. Brother who can't run even if he wants to run. But he can't get the gun back. So his whole body. Turn into Brother Hu and lay on him. He is lying on the ground. The policeman was suppressed by Hu Guanbao. Ho Yi pressed on Hu Guanbao again. Three people stacked together. This Hu Guanbao is over 170 tall. Good physique. He struggled desperately and tried to shoot. Fortunately, the police gun has a safety lock. Moments of life and death. Ho Yi thought of a way. I didn't expect to knock a few times. He bled. But he didn't faint. Not passed out yet. I don't think so. Because his pistol is under him. Although he is now insured. No way to open. But right away. I can't react. Immediately there is a way to open insurance. Then we are dead. At this time I saw next to. Just had an electric fan. Tall. I want to say this tall electric fan. It has a stronger focus. Knock him on the head. As a result, the electric fan was picked up and hit him on the head. Knock twice, the electric fan is broken. He has no feeling in his head. Exhausted all methods. But Hu Guanbao just didn't give in. But I didn't expect this Hu Guanbao. Suddenly no movement and no sound. Ho Yi saw that something was wrong. Because I was under him at that time. Didn't make him stand up. Put him on the ground. Because I'm afraid he will resist again. Handcuffs can't be put on. So put it on the ground. I put him on the ground alone. But it looks weird to me. Nothing is talking. I find it strange. When I touch him, it's like my heart is about to stop. I'll turn him over quickly. Shake his head now. He took a breath. Because he started committing suicide. He's bored. To force yourself to suffocate. Suicide. Seen can't escape. Hu Guanbao chose to kill himself. Fortunately, it was discovered immediately. But Hu Guanbao was arrested. The police did not relax. Because with the arrest of Hu Guanbao, revealed the history of Taiwan's public security. Bloody page. Why is everyone already caught? Instead, it uncovers the history of Taiwan's public security. Where's the bloodiest page? It turned out that the four major crimes of the year, everything has something to do with him. But to break through Hu Guanbao's defense, easier said than done. We just said at the beginning of the show, Hu Guanbao is the most important person in the history of public security in Taiwan. Most educated at Romanate. He was originally students of army officer regular class. Because of excellent grades. Sent by the country. U.S. Military Academy of Virginia. Such qualifications. Why didn't it work in the right place? Finally let him go. Is this a road of no return in life? December 24th, 1990. The day of Christmas Eve. Mastermind of Wu Dongliang's kidnapping case. Hu Guanbao is arrested. Stay still police. Police from Guanbao's home. More than 90 million ransom was found, and many criminal tools. Looking at the stolen evidence lined up. With the media reporters on the scene. Hu Guanbao, the main suspect after being arrested. Unlike ordinary gangsters who will be flustered and ashamed. On the contrary, he looks calm. Strictly speaking, I will not be very satisfied with this society. Social inequality. Face yourself with a serious crime. Hu Guanbao can still speak big. He committed the kidnapping of Wu Donglian. Skillful and delicate. Thoughtful. The police judged the group of people. Not like a novice. There must be other cases on him. This group must have a case. Big case. Although the police unit has not started chasing. Because of this group of people. Really fooled the police too many times. Sure enough, from the evidence seized by the prosecutors, I saw the key two guns. One is a revolver. Is underneath. There's a hook under the handle. But the horn is worn off. At that age. Gangsters too. Or even. Each comparison belongs to. It's good to have a head and a face. You said you had a dagger. A bit upscale. Black Star. CCP Black Star pistol is amazing. But the revolvers of those days. Where? Only the police. After checking it out, I found out. This turned out to be 1985. 
the missing gun in the homicide case of two police officers in Puting, Shinju. Gangsters at that time, false report, tricked the police, to the sparsely populated Puting Road, killed two police officers with a carbine, snatched police gun. This point in time, appeared in Guanbao's hands, police murder gun, the police attach great importance to this clue, because at that time, for criminal cases in Taiwanese society, including the missing gun case in Fonggang, Pingdong, Taoyuan gas station robbery, Huangin Bank Lin Yongkwan murder case, and the murder of two police officers in Shinchu, all unbroken, and all this, all from Pingdong Fonggang, lost two carbines start. That little place in Fonggang, Pingdong, it's just one on duty and one backup. Two police officers, almost pulled down the iron gate at night. The sleeping kind, that time, the gun safe beeps whenever you open it. They put the gun safe. Wire cut. Carried to the backyard. No lock. Just open. Just took two carbines and left. Two carbines were stolen. Within a few months, in the early morning of December 31, 1982, South China Bank Hepping East Road Branch, robbers broke into the vault. Around 4.30 in the morning, two gangsters pointed their guns at me when he was tied back then. Show me the bullets for the carbine. I look at them. They told me not to move or make a sound. Be careful, or let you die. Robber with carbine in hand. But to open the treasury, need a key and password. Why is it so easy for gangsters? Just stole more than 7 million yuan. At the same time, Lin Yongquan, assistant manager of the bank, also disappeared into a mystery. Too strange. Because at that time Lin Yongquan assisted. He suddenly disappeared. His family also said he was normal. Just go to work. Haven't come back yet, have you? But the next day, the vault of Hepping East Road Branch was let in, and in the process, no fights, no signs of damage. He, the gangster, just took the key, opened the vault and took all the money, because if the vault goes in, have a key and a password. At that time, the key code was kept, assistant manager Lin Yongquan, everyone thinks, did he abscond with the money, take the money and run away. So at that time everyone intuitively, Lin Yongquan, is it really guarding yourself? A few months later, police in Sanji's abandoned factory. I found Lin Yongquan. But he's turned into a bone. They later. Julong Iron works in Sanji, when the body of Lin Yongquan's assistant was found. He was tortured during his lifetime. When his body was found. Has become a bone. But you will clearly find, he was handcuffed behind his back to the chair, when looking at the whole body. Looking at the whole body. There are many scars and fractures. Hu Guanbao's practice, to be honest. He thinks money is more important than anything else, if you say today. Has been kidnapped by us, but you don't talk. We can't do it now, let you go back. And you're already wounded, we had to kill him. So in fact, his principle is, getting money is more important than anything. Gangsters for money, take Lin Yongquan's life. Until the moment the body was found, Lin Yongquan was wronged. So Lin Yongquan, before his body was found, this period, people always thought, he absconded with money. He's a guard. So his family and his personal. It was really. Suffered a lot of injustice. Did not expect Lin Yongchuan's murder. The investigation has not progressed yet. Shinshu Puting Police Station. Two more police officers. Killed by someone. Two policemen in Puting. They were falsely reported. Just to lure out. Later Lin Yofu and Zhou Kunqing. Two police officers are on the scene. Was supposed to deal with. Not after arriving at the scene. They are beside. Carbine. Killed two policemen. Kill and grab. Snatch their guns. Killing the police. Taking the gun and killing two people at once. But the police noticed. Murder scene left behind by gangsters. Carbine butt. Carbine again. Victims and witnesses. I have seen the first half of the similar carbine. Without the second half. He cut off the handle of the gun. It's better to put it in the bag. You can carry whatever you want. Is it the same criminal group? They commit crimes with carbines. Pingdong Feng Gang just dropped two carbines. It didn't take long to appear one after another. Carbine crime. Carbine crimes in those days. Extremely rare. Could it be the same gang? The four major criminal cases have been unsolved for many years. Until Hu Guanba was arrested. Carbine crime. The deaths of several victims and I've been struggling to say there's no clue. So in the double cop homicide case, waiting for the stolen police gun to appear, the whole four unsolved cases, a glimmer of light, all project staff are very excited. I pinned all my hopes on. 
on the body of the suspect surnamed who? I always wanted to say from his mouth. Able to get clues. I don't know. Those two are police pistols. Police I don't know. I have no contact with the police. I didn't know it was a police pistol, I just know it's a revolver. Facing the police facing the media. Hu Guanbao is always smiling. But in his smile. How many calculations and secrets are hidden? Where did the gun come from? I think you all know. Now there's a gun that killed a cop. How do you say? I'm sorry too. Did you do it? No, I did it I definitely admit it. He is a bit. Laugh a little. Just have a fear. On the contrary, that smile is a sneer. We can describe him as disdainful. Or he will feel that you can't help me. Former Commissioner of Police Chong Hang Tai. Even describe Hu Guanbao like this. He makes you find no loopholes in the slightest. Wisdom meets violence. Hu Guanbao can still laugh. Tell the task force. You go check. If I find it, it's mine. Hu Guanbao must be related to four meters. He's inseparable. But how to prove? Ho Yui. He also went to the detention center many times to see Hu Guanbao. Just all the truth. Hu Guanbao is all locked in his smile. After capturing Hu Guanbao, the case has never been broken. No breakthrough. Four five months have passed since then. Neither case develops. I feel very sad. No way. From inside his police pistol. To connect with all criminal cases. Per inquiry. Hu Guanbao is like squeezing toothpaste. How much evidence squeeze how much testimony? No critical hit. There's no way to get him to plead guilty. So I go back to murder scene of Huan and Bank. It was the scene where Lin Yongquan assisted. I'll say bye at the place where the corpse was buried. Pray to the dead for guidance. Strange to say. Ho Yui returned to the office that day. Looking in the office, it has been turned over for four to five months. More than ten boxes of files. Found out. As a result, three colleagues. Fourteen boxes of information. Just pick one. I just turned a page in the middle. That's right, a piece of information came out, written in the meeting minutes. August 16, 1973. There is Wang Zhuan of the Bank of Taipei City. Provide a chain of banknote numbers. Close to rob number. 10,000 yuan. This 10,000 yuan is Wang Bank. Stolen money. There was a woman. Take money to deposit. She said the money was given to her by her boyfriend. Look carefully. What is the name of the holder's account? Her concubine's name is Hu Guanbao. The words are very sloppy. Champion's crown protection, he said the deputy. There is a man named Guanbao. As soon as Oyui heard word Guanbao, just say, why that day? Was taking notes. Why didn't I find out? Hu Guanbao. Actually it's Hu Guanbao's voice. Right. Find her out now. Find this woman again for interrogation. Sure enough, let her identify. The one in the prison. Is it your boyfriend? She saw that it was him. Key evidence. Coupled with intensive interrogation. Bit by bit. Slowly defeat Hu Guanbao's defense. Plus. The Wu Dongliang kidnapping case he committed. According to the law at that time, there was only one dead end. Hu Guanbao and his accomplice Zhang Jiahu Qingliao, sentenced to death at second instance. He knows time is running out. If the appeal is rejected after the third trial, will be executed soon. This forever truth sinks into the sea. Between the police and the suspect. Exactly at that time. I feel the pressure of a race against time. Don't want to say in him. After the death penalty is determined to be executed. Clues to the four unsolved cases. Bury them all in the ground. To delay execution. Hu Guanbao recruited. He said he was responsible for all four cases. After all, it's all about money. Because Hu Guanbao is telling the truth. Many of his cases were later investigated by the police. While he was in custody. As long as he is sentenced to death. He'll drop a case. That's the case I did. So of course the police want to say. You because of joint trial. So start. You can't carry out the death penalty. So he was. I've been trying my best to survive. Start planning a case. When doing a case. It can be found that. Almost within the group members. Who is short of money. Which one owes gambling debts again. They have to find money to make up for it. What is the best way to get rich? Just like my brother Yang Ruiho once said. What is the best way to earn? No business. Right the best way to make money. It's murder for money and intimidation for money. To steal money you need a gun. So they stole the carbines. But got caught by the police because of the carbine. They killed the police and took the guns. Just one wrong step like this. The case is getting bigger and bigger and there is no turning back. Hu Guanbao. 
Toss more than eight months, finally let him speak. It's not enough to just confess. Where is the evidence? Hu Guanbao said that he took criminal tools. Lost the vault key. Also drew a map. Let the police follow Tu Suaxiao to find him. Digging ditches. I did everything to dig that water well. But because it has been eight years. Hydraulic shears from his discarded vault key. What headgear? When he arrived at the place where he gave his confession. It's been eight years. So the two dots. Searching for relevant evidence. Is futile. Hu Guangbao wants to rely on the four major cases, delay the shooting, but it doesn't prove that he did the case. The execution order will come down soon. Hu Guangbao knows this very well. He's finally willing to tell where the gun was buried. The task force is of course very excited. So the suspects are named Hu. Draw a buried gun map. The location is in the new shop. One of the industrial roads of the small rough pit. The open space in front of the secluded dormitory, following the map drawn by Hu Guangbao, finally found. This excavation. I found one. Wrapped in oil cloth. Items that appear to be firearms. Is it a carbine? Next day. The police escorted Hu Guanbao to the scene. Open fire. This dig. Two months ago already. Confession of Guanbao, who was sentenced to death. The police successfully found a small rough pit in Xingyan, Taipei County. Honor the five guns of the four unsolved cases. Has two carbines. One of the barrels was sawn short. According to the suspect, it was for portability. And bullets and stuff like that and air guns. These guns are all inside. Four cases have been suspended for many years. Hu Guanbao. Bandit gang members arrested. Dug out the carbine. In the hands of Hu Guanbao for eight years. Every life. Have to settle one by one. After being sentenced to death. Hu Guanbao can be said to have racked his brains. Tried everything. Four is to Delay the execution. Taipei Detention Center. Towering walls. Closed door. Hu Guanbao is locked up here. Waiting for the day of execution. Unwilling to end your life. Ends here. Hu Guanbao. Quite restless in the detention center. He is afraid of losing his freedom. So he. We put him in handcuffs and shackles. He has a. Fear of handcuff syndrome. We'll find a way to open it. After he was handcuffed. He doesn't know why. Then what? We are in his room. How to copy? I can't copy anything. Tools for opening handcuffs. Handcuffed. Less than 10 minutes. He automatically. You can open it. Days of lost freedom. Hu Guanbao couldn't bear it for a moment. He always finds a way to uncuff the shackles. Trying to escape. He will often talk. He passed a note to Chi Muyo. Said he was going to escape. Chi Muyo. When did you run away with him? I don't know if it's a trick. He will talk about releasing a little message today. Release a little message tomorrow. How about it? As if there was a chance. They all want to go to court. Hu Guanbao understands. As long as he puts some news. Police to investigate. We'll definitely borrow him. By the time. It's his chance to escape. He's in the north office. Do those things. He is always. He wants to escape. He just thinks of the chance. He is going to run away. So you want to say this person, not until the last breath. He won't admit. Easily admit defeat. But the police are not fuel-efficient lights. Hu Guanbao. Will try to escape. They simply. Go directly to the detention center to ask questions. Bring out a felon on death row. With his guidance. Go around and let this string come and go. To the so-called gun hunting. There are many unpredictable variables. Very inappropriate. For example, what if he said, there's an escape action in the middle, or there is an accomplice robbing the prisoner, or he hurt himself. It's all possible. Not what we like, Ho Yi said at the beginning. He wants one by one, make him clear, Hu Guanbao, the criminal group, how many crimes committed, eight consecutive months, I go to the detention center almost every day, go talk to Hu Guanbao Ma, Hu Guanbao did not expect. The prosecutors didn't give him a chance at all, seeing and asking questions. This way doesn't work. Use your brains to get out on medical parole. He is very dishonest. And do not abide by the rules. With his little cleverness. He is stronger. He uses his strong body. Engage in self-harm.
Just started. I was the first time in. Sherlin Detention Center watched him. If you want to commit suicide with chopsticks. Chopsticks are going to stick into my heart. Might be nice too. He can act. Very smart. Only then will it be shown to others. His main. Or create a situation to be able to escape from prison. So he committed suicide many times. Then repeatedly. Don't talk about a lot of things. I hope to delay a lot of time. Give him some conditions to escape from jail. Who Guanbao in prison? All I think about is myself. How to escape. Although he wants. Turn around the police. But no matter how cunning. The moment of the end of life. He has to pay for what he did. Pay the price. Hu Guanbao before execution. He said this. He said. There is no such thing as a free lunch. You want something for nothing. You will pay the price. Only sometimes. This price. Is too big for you to imagine. A gunshot. Pierce the silence of the night. Execution ground in Taipei Detention Center. Atmosphere after nightfall. All death row inmates. Have to be here. Settle the sins of your hands one by one. Here is a so-called temporary tribunals. Our host. Before the last execution, prosecutors from the High Prosecution Service, come here. The place where the final confirmation of identity is done. Identity confirmed. Is it going to be executed soon? They will bring. Next to here. He will make us host. Use their last meal. Death row prisoner. The last part of life. Go on the road after eating. And Uguanbao with bloody hands. End of life. Finally got to this point. In fact, there really is no such thing as a free lunch. There is nothing free in the world. If you want something for nothing, must pay the price. The price may be very painful. There is no such thing as a free lunch. This is Huguanbao, the deepest realization at the end of life. Huguanbao, grew up in a dependent village, is a good student with good character and academics. He studied in the Army Academy and went to study in the United States, but because of making bad friends by mistake, follow a few brothers who grew up together, went astray. Once he also had the opportunity to leave. But a wrong step. Life can't turn back. He told me that there are two regrets in life. He said, I didn't listen to my mother. Go to Fuda. Auxiliary University majors in the Department of Religion. If I study religion, I will be a priest one day. I don't do these things either. Another regret is to go to the United States. Did not stay. Read about. Work harder. After coming back, these friends are here again. Read at that time. Why didn't you stay? I stay. Wouldn't be here today. Wrong life. Impossible to do it all over again. Been in jail. Tutoring Hu Guanbao. Teacher Huang Mingxin said, Hu Guanbao is actually a Catholic, but until in the detention center. Countdown. Only then did I fully realize. In fact, when we were going to be baptized for him, he was in the baptismal pool. He even asked us, Bad guy like him. Is there really any help? No matter how bad, at this moment, Uguangbao's heart is deep, still longing for redemption, but the few lives in hand. They have to pay. Because I told the police. If I did it. I will admit. I did not do that. Don't pinch me hard. Because of my time. I handle everything well. Are in business. Tears running down cheeks. It's an unforgettable regret. But it's too late. November 7, 1991. Huguanbao Zhang Muyo. Three childhood friends. Set foot on the execution ground together. He is big brother. So when you're about to be shot at the execution ground. Muyao and Zhang Jiahu. Huguanbao on the other side. Zhang Jiahu told Huguanbao. Big brother. I have been with you since childhood. Look where I've come. I said it at the execution ground. The deepest sigh of the last life. They are eating the last. It's the last breakfast. No more words. Can only bear silently. Taught others badly. Spoil others. Over there. Definitely is. Gritting teeth and regretting. The clatter of metal shackles. Break the stagnant air. The last part of life. Said Ron. Hu Guanbao is executing. 
the day the execution will be executed. Turned out to be by. Two prison guards carried him out. Carried to the execution ground. At that time he was paralyzed. Dragging on the ground like this. Everyone thinks. In your pants. Top of clothes. First change of clothes. There is still that kind. Traces of getting wet. Many journalists do not know. I just want to say you Guanbao. Not brave enough. At that time. Filling people without blinking an eye. Right? What are you doing? Anything comes. Why wait until. When you yourself are going to be shot. The whole body is limp and powerless. I'm a pawn. Hu Guanbao is also there. Entered by crowds of people. But look. No longer as calm as before. Two bullets send him back to the west. Life is meaningless. After the shooting, there remains Hu Guanbao and Zhang Jiahu, led by family, sent to a funeral home. But Hu Guanbao and Zhang Jiahu, two people's organs, none donated, in today's scene. This confirms what Hu Guanbao said when he was arrested. Don't do evil. Those who suffer the most are their own family members. In fact, the world is really no free lunch. There is nothing free in the world. If you want something for nothing, must pay the price. The price may be very painful. I will also give it to my own home. Friends, relatives. Bring the shame that will never be erased. I also appeal here. People who want to commit crimes. Think about your parents. After he was executed by shooting, after tidying up his cell, prison guards only found out who Guanbao is not scared. Scared powerless. He was executing the night before. He actually hid under the quilt. Take a knife and let the blood out there. So while they were sorting, when his stuff, after the quilt is lifted, there's blood all over the quilt. Turns out he bled overnight. He wishes, by this bloodletting, let yourself be exhausted before execution. Able to keep people under guns. Put him on medical parole. Extend his life like this. So Hu Guanbao is cunning. Until. Just before he died. He is still trying his best. To fight the police. Thank you for watching today's. Taiwan Apocalypse. I'm Hong Peixiang. We will meet again.